When it comes to hobby electronics, a lab bench power supply is an important piece of equipment that a hobbyist must own in order to power various circuit boards and devices. There are many commercially available power supplies ranging from very basic ones which are cheaper to ones with higher capacities and more complex functions for professionals. But being a DIY hobbyist, I decided to make my own lab bench power supply with basic features like constant current and voltage, a voltage range of 1.25 volts to 34 volts and a current range from 0 to 5 amps. So let's see how I made this not so planned lab bench power supply and how you can make one too. I had planned to use this LTC3780 step up down regulator module and this voltmeter ammeter module for the display. I powered it with this 12 volt 5 amps power supply. We will require the following additional components. I tested the circuit before proceeding with the final build and it worked fine. I measured the dimensions of the parts and designed this case in Fusion 360. The files are in the description below. Printed it with my DIY 3D printer. The top and bottom parts were printed in orange PLA and front and back panel were printed in black ABS. It took roughly 20 hours for all the parts to print. On the LTC3780, the left potentiometer is for voltage adjustment, the second one is for current and the third one is for voltage cutoff, which is a function we will not use as of now. I desoldered the potentiometers on the module and soldered wires for the bigger potentiometers. Fixed the module and the power supply in the casing and made rest of the connections. I decided to test the circuit before fixing the enclosure and found that the LTC3780 module was not working. The fault LED was always on. I then thought an alternative for the LTC3780. I had this XL4015 step down converter lying around but I had an input of only 12 volts. So I used this DC to DC boost converter to first step up the voltage to 35 volts and the XL4015 to further step down the voltage and it worked. It is surprising to know that both these modules are less than half the price of the LTC3780. I did the wiring again, this time according to this wiring diagram. Placed the modules in the casing with hot glue and closed the enclosure. I connected the power cord, turned on the switch and the power supply worked. This can be used to power circuits or even charge a battery. Hope you enjoyed this video, feel free to share your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel for more such videos. 
thanks for watching.